right. So anytime I grab the microphone, it means it's about that time. About time we I'm I'm about to speak to a talent, and I'll need you to sit down and then listen to what the person has to say. Right here, I'm here with the baddest DJ in the whole of Africa. He's the most followed DJ in the whole of West Africa, East Africa, everywhere. His mixes are being played in all over the world and he's followed by not less than 100,000 human beings. 100,000 good human beings on earth are listening to just one person. And you can imagine. His name is DJ Spincho from Adiembra here in West Africa, Second D. And I'm here to have a troll with him. Have a good time. DJ Spincho, what's up, bro? Adeka, Ghani Media. Everything nice. Everything fine for my side. You should say you cool. I'm fine. Are you ready to talk? Why not? All right. So we have uh, not less than hundred thousand people listening to your mixes every day around the world. I'm a blogger, of course. I search about this and I know. So to another hundred thousand people who are yet to know DJ Spincho, when they ask who is DJ Spincho, what are you going to tell them? DJ Spincho is a multi-talented DJ based in Africa. Can I to be precise? I was born and breathed in Adrian by Sabah of Second Data Karate. No doubt. Multi talented DJ, of course, no doubt. DJ Spincho. Gani. I want to know. It could be a secret, but the people want to know. Sure. What makes your style of mixing a song so different from all the other DJs that are out um, in the world? You know, my style is different. Everything I put is out there. It's unique among the rest, yeah. So you put in a lot of effort, right? Effort and the style. Okay, so let's say, um, let's go back to shows and events and all that. When it comes to event issues, let's start from the Western region, Sekendi Takrade. How is it for you? Not bad. In my opinion, not bad. You think is, everything is all right? Yeah. Event organizers, mm -hmm. how do they treat DJs like yourself? You are not a, a small DJ, yeah. so when you, when you go to their events to, I mean, play for them, how is the treatment? You know, I always charge them. It's an agreement. You have to seal it before I pull up. So without sealing it, I will never come around. You understand? So, I mean, you 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 you, ad, uh, you adhere to professionalism in the yeah. field. Most definitely. Right, so um, I'm to I've been talking to a whole lot of artists wh who, whom you have been playing their songs. Yeah. They say when they go to events, they are not being paid, they are not treated fairly, and then they are not given the respect that they want. I said, DJ, do you, do you see that? <laughs> you know, this work that you are doing, you have to brand yourself in some level, you understand? So if the person is approaching you, the person who know your standard, you understand. Or building to back bound channel can't the challenge put them new to show do. So I want you to pull up. In the first place, they accept offer an equity. They jam big time, you understand. So you have to go agreement with the person, then you see the way forward, you understand? If you want to uh, charge them money way, if it pay you go you go know see it pay something for an artist or a DJ. So I'm more interested in your last words, you know. We are we are fusing a whole lot of English in this interview because you are not a small DJ. Yeah, sure. People are listening to you around the world, yeah. from Dubai, everywhere. I mean, everywhere. so that's why we are fusing a lot of English. So um, if you are not comfortable, I mean, we can we can switch it up. You see, as a DJ, I mm -hmm. could mm -hmm. How is it difficult for you to I mean arrange a song of an artist? Which artist? Like, example, let's say I can't go past my own Quasi Flex, our own Quasi Flex. How do you arrange the song for him to perform and then feel like he's really performing for the people? We yeah, have been doing this for a couple of years. So we know what you are doing. You understand? Yeah. Music is very spiritual. We normally rehearse in the, in the room before we bring it out. So, um, I don't find it difficult hosting Crazy Flex on stage. You understand? We always do our best in the room before we bring it out. You understand? There. Yeah. All right. So you do your best before you bring it out. You know that's preparation and all that. I love. I love that about you, bro. Hey, <laughs> you the sport that give me what? So um, 
the first day you woke up from from sleep and you went to the social media platforms and uh, you realized you are over hundred thousand followers on let's say audio mark alone how was the feeling that's great is it is it what did you say what did you say I, I want to know the first word that came out of your mouth like what what did you say charlie hey, hey you know be small achievements <laughs> <laughs> that'd be hard that'd be hard that'd be hard you see it's so good it's, it feels so good yeah. now so i can say that thing no it makes you expensive or why not the most it's expensive it, dj right about now in ghana here yeah. oh, they didn't hear that say it again the most expensive dj right about now in ghana here yeah. the most expensive dj right about now here in africa ghana and there is no doubt. I don't. I don't doubt that. You know, you are good, bro. It's not like I know you. That's what I'm saying. That no, you are good at it. I listen to your mixes, and people tell me that yo, your guy is good, and you are good about that. All right. So let's let's come to. Do you have anything like project. a project that yes, a project that you can involve various artists? Yeah, I'm working on a project with Ratty. You understand? I think I've put eight artists on it. It's a EP. Crazy Flex is on it. I have Treasure from um, one of the African countries. The Bride from Nigeria. ISM Today. Let's be secret. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Loso Day. Only, only on Ghanese media. Listen to the names. Loso Today. This is Loso. OG Day. I guess some guy be, be hard guy into the Accra, Kobe Rocks. He did so far. I mentioned how many? You mentioned like like six. Sure. Yeah. Mulakre today. Mulakre, juicy boy Mulakre. Juicy boy Mulakre. Of course. And I go add another one. Yeah. 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 Times, you know that will, that would be secret. You understand? Yeah. Surprise. So I don't want to talk. I can't wait. I can't wait to have a listen to that mixes and it's going to. I know it's going to be something dope. What mixes do. No, songs. No mixes. Songs. songs, songs with the various artists. Okay. You know, EP. Okay. You understand? An EP from a DJ. From a DJ, yeah, featuring the artist. Are you going to sing on it? No, I'll do the intro and outro. You do the intro and outro. Yeah. Can you can you sing? Like, can you sing? No, really, no, really. No. Can I sing? Yeah. I can produce beat. You can produce beat. Yeah. A DJ producer. Wow. Yeah, sure. All right. So we have. Uh, these ladies listening from Tanzania, I, I used to see their comments. Uh, are you open to travel to anywhere to perform? Why not? Why not? I want to be on a bigger platforms, you know, international platform. So when there is a deal, I won't even think about it. I will move. You understand? Let's say we, w we wake up uh, tomorrow morning. And of course, the BET, Black Entertainment Hours mm -hmm. says Spincho Charlie. The next edition, you need to be there. How how are you going to receive this kind of message? How would you feel? You no, know, me 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 as Ghani. Me as Ghani. When 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 somebody says, when, when I called you, I'm like, yo, bro, I want to put you on an, a podcast on a, an interview, chat with Ghani. And you said, oh, Charlie, go feel link up. Me, I feel happy, oh. So you do your own. How you go feel? This is a big move, you know. It's a big win for the industry, yeah, at large. So I'll feel good and I'll feel proud of myself, yeah. All right, let's come home. Let's come home. Western region, yeah. DJs. Do you have association? Yeah. Are you guys united enough? Most definitely, sure. Sure. Okay. Or uh, do you have something that? No, no. Me, I'm just. I'm just trying to, you know, find something, you know, you know, the work, you know, the work of bloggers, you know. Yeah, we are not into competition with anyone. We are just doing our best, you know, to put Western region. I'm asking that because the artists, some of them are seeing themselves in a competition with each other. So is it like that with the DJs or no? No, 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 no. Nothing like that? No, no. Is there any time that you had a banter with another G DJ in Western Region? In, here in Western Region, what's of outside Western Region? Hey, <laughs> okay, way back on campus, you know, but in the, that time, 
it wasn't anything serious, you understand? Just a misunderstanding. But we solved it and then Which campus? Which campus is that one? UDS War Campus. UDS War Campus. The students of UDS are listening to you. Big up to them. So so like uh, the boys are listening, let's say they are listening. Mm -hmm. What is it what is it that you regretted that you want to apologize to them? It's been a long time, I mean it's been a long time. But what what you have nothing? No, nothing. They know. They know? Yeah, they know. I have nothing to apologize. Right. right. I think it wasn't your fault. As in? As in, however it came about, it wasn't your fault. No, it was between myself and a DJ. You know, who plays first and who plays second. That's it. So we, we understand each other then. We, we did what we have to do, yeah. Okay, so um, artists now or Western region. Yeah, Western region. But they care more about Western region because I don't see certain things right. Really? How as a DJ, no? How about they feed the artists, no? Of course, some of them are really working. How about they feed the artists, no? One year, one year. This interview is an international interview, so. Yes, you are going. To, be more yes, you are going to. You are uh, you are no, 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 no. When. When I watch the uh, South Africans, the Sudanese, the Tanzanians, I chip in the fancy, you know. I have right. When when these people are doing their podcast, right? Yeah. They speak. They get to a certain stage. They speak their own language. Yeah. Very true. Which makes it international enough. Very true. Across Africa. Very true. And the fancy. In Tianjin, for fancy and Tianjin. Yeah, yeah, okay, I understand. You get it. And see, back fans know that sometimes I will speak the English just for them to understand. So, let's see, DJ is now a Western regional. I, will, I see you to be one of the breeders there on the map. Doing right. What do you think the artists, you play their songs, you listen to their songs, what do you think they are not doing right? Most, some of them. <laughs> it's all about the brand, you know, bro. How to approach a DJ. The beat making and then the content you put out there, like the lyrics, you understand. You know, Nigerians they are into the Afrobeat, the South Africans, I'm a piano, you understand. Yeah. So, we also have to have our genre of music, you understand. And then it shouldn't be like Ubiali into Muslim, you understand. I, I said it earlier on, music is very spiritual, so whatever that you are doing, you have to send message across. That's it. All right, so um, I think they will be, they have to listen to this and then work, work, work towards it. That's very brilliant of you. But then um, when when you look around Africa, we have a couple of DJs who also have numbers. Sure. Do you have any collaboration with any of them? Okay, I have collaboration with um, this guy, DJ Lazio, based in Italy. And I'm about to do three mixtapes with different DJs from different countries. One, one in Belgium, one in UK, and then Namibia. Your, your mentionings are always out, outside the, the shores of Africa. Yeah. I'm talking about Africa here. Ghana, U Uganda, these people. Cote d'Ivoire, my country, of course. Do you have any collaborations with these people? Namibia. Namibia. Namibia, then Nigeria, then Uganda. Uganda. Yes, yeah. Sure. You, you think Uganda, Ugandans love music that much? Yeah. Check my comments on the audio mark. Yeah. It what about what about Cote d'Ivoire? Oh yeah, of course. I've been there several, the, several times. Yeah. Which part of Cote d'Ivoire did you go? Okay, so um, Aisa Crew. I've been at. I've been to Aisa Crew before. Then um, Mafari. Maf is it mafia or asini mafia mafia asini mafia asini mafia yeah asini mafia but they always say it's mafari yes so the pronunciation you know but we from the you know i'm a boy right oh i know i know i know yeah so it's asini mafia yeah, okay it's asini mafia okay. that's that's the name so i went to um plateau some time ago like 2023 november and i heard somebody playing on mixes i'm like where do you know this guy from <laughs> So, uh, oh yeah, I want to question him. He said, oh, I saw the mixes. I'm like, yo, this guy is my, my nigga, bro. He get the mixes from Audio Mark. And Audio then, Mark. Yeah. And then on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. And I have one or two bloggers too. They put it out there for people to download it. Yeah. You know, so if you go go my name, the mixes will come then. All right. So, to parler, to parler français? 
Yeah. <laughs> right. He doesn't. I'm not ready for French right now. So. All right. The, he, when he, when he was coming, he actually left the French in the bag. So in the back, I some later. <laughs> let's let's come back to our conversation. Yes, yes. How difficult is it for you to grab an opportunity to perform on a show? How difficult? How difficult is it for you? Is it that they call you or you you go for them or you see them or what? How is how is it that? They always book me online. They get my tickets from either Audio Mac or YouTube or Facebook or IG. You understand? So they they will just come in my DM. Then we go into agreement. Then we up I move. All right. So let's come back to our own artists. You play for Quasi Flex, the official DJ for Quasi Flex Music. Do you have um, any difficulties working with him? No, not at all. Is he is he is he um, open to work with? I tell you, I swear. What is it? What is that one thing that you can tell somebody or recommend Quisi Flex to somebody about? He's very talented, humble, and he's a focused guy. <laughs> Very talented, humble, and a focused guy. Of course, one of the artists from the Western region who is very talented, not that because he's saying, because I know, right? Quasi Flex is one artist that you should be looking out for. So you know, to your fans outside Africa, to your fans in Africa, around the Africa, what will you tell them about this particular Quasi Flex music that we are talking about? You know, it's the next big thing in Africa. So they should stream his music on all the digital streaming platforms they should keep supporting him share his music and they should give him one or two years he's one of the biggest artists in africa in the world at large trust me wow, wow today's day is um 19 uh 19 august uh 19 what is it august 2024 so market market somewhere spinjo we've had enough but we are yet to be done now when it comes to you were talking about branding i listened to some of your submissions branding some of the djs don't have the capacity to brand themselves in that direction that you are saying what do you, what, what suggestion do you have for them like what do they do we should have a management team working with you understand you have your personal videographer yeah. right and photographer so you should have your road manager your personal manager your pro the team the videographer the photographer you understand anytime there will be a show there will be a calling you have to sit them down talk to them you understand and then most definitely your appearance really counts the way you talk to people you know the way you relate to people it really counts so you have to brand yourself in some way that if myself if i'm, I'm approaching you Kana, i'll be scared it's a boy yeah you understand so but if you don't fall you understand you know, so you have to get a team let them groom you you know then you'll be so about dress so you understand a lot it entails a lot but it depends on the individual if you are ready sit them down it's all about, it's all about business you understand when you get the money most, you can pay them each and everyone you understand i don't want to mention artists here that person is doing the most right now you understand and so yeah i'll be, I'll be happy if you can mention the name oh <laughs> kofi kenata kofi oh kofi yeah he's doing the most what what is he doing what is that one thing that he's doing you know everybody... no, i don't know people are listening i don't know like i can't tell i, I don't know right I don't know. It's not everything that I can know. You know, you are the DJ on the field. You can, you can, you can tell the story. I'm most of the team out of this country. Yeah. Some to Dubai, some to US, some to Germany, some to UK. You know, a lot. He's doing the most. Charlie, big ups to uh, Kofi Kenata. May God continue blessing him. You know, you know, um, DJ Ashes. Yeah, DJ Ashes, be my guy. Yeah, be my and, guy. And then uh, Kofi is actually. Collaborating with Ashes, are you, are you happy about that? Oh, yeah, if you're happy, I'm happy. I told you, you are not in competition with anyone, That's right. it's a win win game. You understand? That's I always I always want the boys to 
be on a platform you understand then people because i don't know they have to feed the family you understand you have to feed your mom your dad and those around you you understand so or there any bb or bb or discover be fear and actually fear on turn to me name you ask you and then you so about with you you understand because what's the general is one if on so about if you are not family on tomb one no stone be thrown on a fruitless tree and then they do know it's one also about not today what to be able to know you know or not so about you understand so i'm i'm not in competition with with ashes i always wish him well no no i'm not saying you are in a competition with him i'm like coffee I feel good. yes i feel good why not it's an opportunity yeah. and in for our industry if you, you collaborate with a artist it's a big win for you because the artist will be taking you to places you explore yeah you understand so me i'm happy for him all right that's nice um it's about that time you know but this is dj spincho i think we will have to come back to this podcast again or that's with this is time with Ghani. anytime any day i'm always there for you You're always available right i'm always i'm always always going to support this talent and i hope you are going to get there we are all going to climb up to the state uh, but you gave a proverb can you remember the proverb that you gave no stone be will be thrown on a fruitless tree towards a fruitless tree tree yeah it got to me <laughs> i've kept it so um this is ghani's media and this is ta- um, chat with ghani right it used to be time with ghani by changing to this is chat with ghani on my platform on youtube on facebook on ig i'm ukuda bosom on snapchat and on twitter you can follow me on all the guitar streaming platforms and of course follow my dj the baddest dj out of africa what's your last words to your fans watching you all over the world you know we all would die someday the goal isn't to live forever the goal is to create something that will live forever we will all die one day the goal is never to live forever but the goal is actually to leave a mark before we die my name is gani and of course i'm here with my people and we are coming to you next time i'm out